Tonight, there is still no plan in sight to fix our crumbling roads and cities in Metro Detroit are doing whatever they can to patch up those potholes. But one small community in St. Clair County found out the hard way that a Band-Aid fix can backfire. Take a look at what 7 Investigator Jim Kurtzner found when he arrived on Harsons Island. This is a story people in the road repair business don't want you to see, and they might have gotten away with it in this isolated location. The only way to Harsons Island is the ferry. And once on the island, you don't have to go far to see what was supposed to be a road fix done just last week. I don't think the fix is a fix. 5,000 people call this home in the summer. This week has been a mess they can't avoid. Every person on this island is affected. If you take a ride anywhere, go to town for a gallon of milk, you're in it. You're in this tar everywhere you go. The road fix is all over their vehicles, tracked inside their homes and businesses. We're upset because we have to clean up all this tar on our rug, and I'm not sure we can. This is called chip seal, a layer of small stones covered with tar. It's done on the cheap. The road commission says one mile of this costs $32,000. One mile of a complete asphalt repaving, 10 times that. Nobody's happy with this. Still no money coming from the state to do this right. The people that paid the money for this should be reimbursed. It's a waste of money. And take a look at this. This one has people most upset. These ruts in the road. And it's not just here, but the busy parts of the island. This is your tax hey, dollars at work. Of, I know. Aren't they good? <laughs> we play a lot of money over here on taxes, and it just shouldn't be like this. So what's a fix to the fix? Get this. The road commission says the contractor will be here tomorrow to cover the hot tar with sand. We got sand, which is essentially glass, which is going to get into your carpets and tear up the carpets even more. I'm, I'm not sure what their second plan is. I hope it's better than sand. Lansing lawmakers, are you watching? Residents here say you and St. Clair County are to blame, and they're trying to clean up your mess. On Harsons Island, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Wow, and that does look like a mess, huh? Yeah. Well,